Hey guys, welcome back to Dogshala. So today in our video, we are going to see about a kind of mixed dentition analysis that is Hukaba analysis so from orthodontics point of view. So what is Hukaba analysis? So Hukaba analysis, as I've said, is a mixed dentition analysis. We use it uh, like uh, we use radiographs and also the study cast to determine the width of unerupted teeth. Okay, the unerupted teeth width is measured using this analysis. So it was introduced by Hukaba in 1964. So it allows the prediction of size of unerupted teeth and the space that it requires based on the size of erupted tooth. So we allow we measure the size of unerupted teeth based on the size of erupted tooth. So what is the principle behind Hukaba analysis? So it is like with any type of radiograph, it is necessary to compensate for enlargement of radiographic image. We know that, right? So enlargement ratio for each unerupted permanent tooth is computed by measuring the nearest erupted tooth, first in the mouth and then in the radiograph. Okay, the enlargement ratio for each unerupted permanent tooth is computed by measuring the nearest erupted tooth, first in the mouth and then in the radio graph okay so let's see how we do that so the armamentarium that we require are the dental cast poly gauze millimeter ruler and periapical radiograph of the tooth which we want to measure the size so the procedure of how we do is so this is the formula that we use keep this in mind so x is equals to x prime y by y prime so what is it so x x is the width of unerupted permanent tooth this is what we are going to find right then x prime x prime is width of its underlying successor on iopa okay so whatever unerupted tooth is there its underlying successor width is x prime so that is measured using our radiograph right then y y is width of the primary tooth on the cast that is the erupted primary tooth on the cast. Okay, then the Y prime is width of primary tooth on IOPA. Okay, so this is what is the denotion of this uh, formula. Okay, so from this what we can do, what we have arrived, so an uh, unerupted tooth. So the width of, the width of, unerupted tooth equals to so width of underlying successor on IOPA into into width of the primary tooth on cast by width of primary tooth on IOPA. So this is how we measure the width of the unerupted tooth. So let's see what are the advantages uh, with this. So it is very easy, practical and relatively accurate method. It does not require any production table and can be used in both maxillary and mandibular arches. The disadvantages are the distortion, like uh, sometimes we have radiographic image error distortion. So that may cause error on determining the proper determination of the width of the tooth. So let's see the question they have asked in EAT MDS 2022. So, a 7-year-old child whose mandibular incisors are yet to be erupted. So, mandibular permanent incisors are not erupted. So, which model of analysis is indicated in this situation? So, when the mandibular incisors are not erupted, which model of analysis? So, the options they have given are Moyers, Tanaka-Johnson, uh, staley Kerber, and Hokaba. In Moyers, we measure the mandibular incisor width for assessment. In Tanaka Johnson also we measure the mandibular incisor width. In Staley Kerber also we measure the mandibular incisor width. So these three are not. Okay. The only analysis where we do not require measurement of mandibular incisors or incisor width 
is Hukaba analysis. Okay, so that is why in this situation, since the incisors are not erupted yet, we can use Hukaba. These uh, all uh, these three can only be used when these incisors are erupted. Okay. If you like our video, do subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Instagram at Dokshala for dental content and at Dokshala Medical for medical content. You can also follow us on Telegram. Thank you.